The next step is to do the sixes. And by sixes I mean one, two, three, four, five, six. The six colours forming the first two rows all the way around the cube. And the way you do this is basically as follows. If I just um, basically focus on maybe this edge here first. So this is a green and an orange and you'll find the green and orange somewhere on the bottom row. So I'm just going to look around and here it is. That's the green and sorry the green and orange on the bottom row. And what you need to do in order to do in order to move this green and orange into this position here, basically what you have to do is move the green and orange so it's on the bottom but to the right hand side of where it needs to go. If I just show you one particular move, um, this is basically um, seven moves to move this into this position. And I'm going to do it very slowly so you can follow it yourself. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And by doing that move, you'll notice that the green and orange have actually moved into that position there. Now I'm going to do exactly the same with the other edges, just to make it um, easy for you to follow. If I focus on on the the blue and red this time, so again I'm going to look on the bottom row to see where I've got the blue and red, and I have them over here. So I've got the blue and red edge over here. So again, I'm going to move the blue and red edge to one, basically just just one across from where it needs to go. And again, I'll follow the exact same move I showed you before. So again, it's a seven move process. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the blue and red have actually appeared where they need to be. Right, so looking around the cube, now I need to find a, a red and green. So again, go back to the bottom row, and I've got a red and green here. So this red and green needs to move into this position. And the way you do that is you move it across one position. And then again, I'm going to use the seven moves I showed you before. So to push that to this position here, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what you'll notice here is that the red and green have actually moved into the correct position. So I've got the red done, I've got the green done, and it's just the orange and the blue that need doing now. So again, I look to the bottom face, and I've got the blue and orange over here. And in order to put that into position, I move it across once from where it needs to go, and again, the seven moves again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And looking at that now, you'll notice that I've done all the sixes. So I've done the first two rows of the cube along with one complete colour. Now, the next step is to do the bottom corners. So I need to put all of the bottom corners in the right location. At the present time, I just have the, the red and green in the right place. Um, so I'm gonna sort of move the cube around to see if any of the corners need to be put in the right place. Now looking at this, I've got the, the orange and the green in the right place. All that needs to happen here, here is for it to move across and I've got the the blue and red in the right place. So the ones that need to be basically put into the right place are are the blue and orange on that edge, on that corner sorry, and the red and green on that corner. And the way to do this is again using 
a, a basically a pattern. Now in this case it's a 16 move process so a bit more difficult to the one I showed you before. However, I'm going to show you the 16 moves that you need to learn and once you've learnt them you'll find it a whole lot easier. So what I need to do is I need to move the red and green to the red and green over here and in order to do that you make sh you need to ensure that the red and green corner is diametrically opposite to where it needs to go so this needs to be moved over to this position and I'll show you how to do that now using the 16 move process um, so here it goes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and sixteen now by doing that what you'll notice is that the each of the corners are now where they need to be all I need to do is orient them so that they're facing the right way in fact looking around I, I need to do one other corner sorry and um, the red and green is in the right place, the blue and red are in the right place, but I need to basically move this one across to this position and I need to move the blue and orange across to this position. Now again, I'm going to use the same 16 move process. So if I focus on the, the green and orange, I need to, I'm going to do exactly the same thing as, as I did before so you, you know what to do. So I'm going to move it across so it's diametrically opposite to where it needs to be. The green and orange need to be moved across to this position. So I'm going to use the 16 move process again. And here it goes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now, if you look around the cube now, what you'll notice is that the the red and green corner is in the correct position. The blue and red corner is where it needs to be. All we need to do here is basically twist it so it's facing the right way. The blue and orange corner is where it needs to be. All it, that needs to be done now is for it to be twisted so it's facing the right way. And again, the same with the green and orange. Now, in order to get these twisted into the right direction, there's another move that you need to learn. Now, this is basically a 12-step move, and I'm going to do it very slowly because I only need to do it once. Now, I need to make sure that um, each that I'm basically working on on the right face here. So I need to work on the face, which is sorry, the edge which is opposite to the corner that's already done. So in this case, this corner is already complete. So I need to work, I can work on either this face or this face here. And I'll, I'll choose the red face. And here's the move that you need to learn. Again, it's a 12 move process. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry, it was actually a 10 move process. And there you have it. I've actually completed the cube. Um, so that wasn't too difficult. Um, in my, um, sorry, before, before I go on to that, I just want to say that one, once you've, uh, what you need to do is you need to watch this video um, a few times and look at the the moves that I, I showed you before and actually memorize those moves. And once you've memorized those moves, you'll find it quite easy to do the Rubik's Cube.